To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey guys, I'm LB, and I have a few questions and concerns about that policy, so let's check out the description for Chrysotile by Stract and Demon Arisen. This is a map that I have played before. It's one of Demon Arisen's maps, but this is a hammerized version of it. I have not refreshed myself on the solution, so this will be kind of, uh, semi-blind, but not really, because I've played it before. Uh, I might remember some parts of the solution, but it's been a while. Let's read the description. Difficulty, Pleasantly Prickly Cactus. What? Okay. A puzzle by Demon Arisen, hammerized by Stract. A puzzle about cube transportation and clever positioning. Cave here. Due to an unfortunate accident involving a genetically modified Venus flytrap which befell our gardeners recently, this test has been overrun by monstrous man-eating plants. We've hired a bunch of sissy vegans to go in and give them a good devouring, but until then, don't touch anything. Remember when you used to play The Floor is Lava as a kid? Well, welcome to the professional Olympic version of that. The floor, walls, and ceiling are lava, but the lava is actually organic man-eating plants. If you see any delicious-looking berries, though, you can feel free to eat them. I've just tucked into a couple and I feel fine. Pretty sure my skin's always been made of leaves, right? Cave Johnson, we're done here. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get started, shall we? I'm sure we're not in, act in any actual danger, but, uh, it is nice to see another Cave Johnson quote. But this... Isn't this nice looking? Right, well, got some water dribbling down from the ceiling. There's a downstairs area. Hello there. Um, this camera turned on when I popped it off the wall extract. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's certainly a little bit creepy. Well, there now it's gone. What actually hit the ground before it finished disintegrating? Isn't that nice looking? Oh yeah, this map. This map was built to be hammerized, wasn't it? Well, nothing left to do but go downstairs. Right, I think this is like, a second or third area, or something. Will this also turn on if I pop it off the wall? Oh yeah! It also turns on if you pop it off the wall, that's creepy. <laughs> mm hmm Yes. These are all things I remember. Vaguely. Well, that's cool looking. And this is our way back out of here, if we so choose. Yeah, that's a cool sound. There we go. Not sure what was so difficult about that. <laughs> Whee! And then here is the main meat. The whole central area. Yes, we still got a funnel working here. how to do this. Are these the plants that are gonna supposedly eat me? They don't seem to be eating me yet. Well, that took a bit. There we go. Neat looking observation room. And this is our... companion cube. Yes, that's unchanged. Oh, and it even makes the Companion Cube music! From the main campaign. Isn't that nice? Right. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just push this Companion Cube around, why don't we? Um, that's not exactly where I thought that was, but okay. There we go. Why does it get so loud when I'm- when I put the portals like that buggy sound in this game? And I think- yep, that's the button. I think this is the part that took me a long time, it's just not realizing that I had to stand here or something like that. But, uh... I don't remember if we need the funnel anymore. I think we might. 
Where can I... Not there... Huh. Well, I'll just shoot that there for now. I suppose we'll figure it out as we go along. Rubble. Like, it's almost high enough that you can jump up here, but not really. Whee! Hmm. I don't remember if I need the funnel anymore. Oh well. I'm sure I'll figure it out someday. Oh, come on! That bug's back in the game still. Not too useful, is it? Right. We don't need to do that yet. Give me this cube. There we go. Right, so, I believe, in theory, something along these lines is needed, perhaps. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. If we do this, that should give us plenty of velocity. Oh yeah, look at that, that's more than enough. Way more than enough. Ta-da! Can't actually get in there, but that's okay. That's gonna deliver us our viney cube. Interesting. Right, so now we have a second cube. That should significantly ease things up for us. We can just put this guy over here. Oh, come on! Don't you bounce off the button as well. And then, maybe we redo this part? Maybe been a while. Yeah, I think maybe we can see that now? Perhaps? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Something along those lines. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I'll just go with that. I want to take a look at this, though. This is looks kind of interesting. I almost feel like I've seen this exact one in another map before. How is this making me go down? That doesn't make any sense, game. Okay, well. Interesting. Can't even get close enough to stand on it. Yeah, the collision is just right there. Right, so let's get the companion cube again. And... Yeah, whatever. That'll work. Well, that was weird. Was that... Did y'all see that? There's an orange... Oh, it's cause the dr Right, it's the dropper's light. The dropper's got lights on it. Yeah, the lights are actually dynamic. I always forget about that. I was like, why is it go from an orange glow to a blue glow? It's cause there's lights on it. Yeah. <laughs> lights. that, and... there's that. And because this game's really buggy in terms of how sound works, this is where we hear the funnel at for some reason. Right. Uh... Oh, I remember now. So I have to jump down first. Yeah, this makes sense now. Oh 
There's that. Go ahead and save. And, uh... Doesn't really matter too much where I put this guy. Why can I still hear it, and where did it go? Uh, I don't know where it went, but, uh... Whatever. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! That should be good enough. Um... My companion cube has gone through the roof, and I cannot follow. Actually, how high could it go? How high will it go? Oh, it stops there and goes around that? Maybe? Okay, well, the funnel stops there, so... If I place the portal, though, in a better position... Oh, I can get up here! Ooh! Ooh! Hold on a sec. Let's get that companion cube out of the way. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um... Can I actually get anywhere here, though? Let's move this over here. And, uh... Can I put a portal here? There I go. Come on now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah! Easter egg! Yeah! Easter egg! Yeah! <laughs> That's Strax Avatar. Yep, that is, uh... That is Strax Avatar. <laughs> Oh man, I am so glad that I found this easter egg. Normally that would just be nothing in a map, you know, you go- you go through all that effort and you just find nothing. But man, easter egg, yeah! <laughs> Alright, well, I've had my fun, let's go back. That's in this direction, yep. That was cool, I like that, I appreciate that. Right, well, let's complete the puzzle now. Now I just need to go upstairs. Yep, that should do it. Just about. Ta-da! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Excellent work, Strat. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! What the? Oh ho ho ho! We're not done yet! Okay, that's unexpected. I'm not supposed to be here. This is creepy. How did I leave? Wow, this is some really well done atmosphere. This, the, the text on the screen like that reminds me of one shot. Great work, both of you. Goodbye!